Good morning, OHS. Today is October 29th, and it's an A-Day. I'm your host, Connor Crow, alongside my co-hosts, Logan and Ayana. Unfortunately, Logan couldn't get his camera working today, but he's still able to talk. Today, we will cover the weather and the Halloween segment along with other important info. But before I get too far ahead of myself, let's turn over to Logan with the weather. Okay, tomorrow's weather is going to be a high of 39 with a low of 28 with a 10% chance of rain. Saturday is going to be a high of 45 with a low of 36 with 10% chance of rain. Sunday is going to be a high of 52 with a low of 31 with a 60% chance of rain. Now let's send it over to the car. Thanks, Logan. So do you have any plans for this upcoming weekend? Yeah, this weekend I get to go racing at Paradise Speedway with my new micro sprint. And it's about it for the weekend, but it's going to be raining Sunday, so I can't really do anything then. That sounds like fun. Good luck with the race. Uh, now we're going to go back to the announcements. The freshman class is holding a coffee fundraiser. They'll be running for the next two weeks. If you are interested in supporting the freshman class, please use the link below. If you didn't hear yet, the results are in for the class of 2022 class officers. They are as follows. President, Katie Nettles. Vice President, Maddie Vashaw. Secretary, Mary Kate Clunan. Treasurer, Cindy DeLapp. Congratulations to those students who were elected. The class of 2022 will be holding a can collection challenge. and a junior may return cans or bottles to the Great Lakes Recycling Center locations for the entire 2020 to 2021 year. Junior class students, families, and friends must tell the employees the student's name they wish to donate under the class of 2022. A prize will be given each quarter to the student who wins the challenge by redeeming the most cans to the OHS class of 2022 account. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Koskowski. Looking to celebrate Halloween? Well, you can still do it. The CDC has warned that traditional trick-or-treating is a high-risk activity this year. However, that doesn't mean that you can't still celebrate the holiday without staying safe. First and foremost, avoiding large crowds is still highly recommended. The CDC has three risk categories, high risk, moderate risk, and low risk. Virtual costume contests and pumpkin carving with family is a low risk. Trick-or-treating in crowded indoor haunted houses are high risk. Maintaining social distancing while individually wrapping up goodie bags are lined up for trick-or-treaters is considered moderate risk. 